assume for our purposes of what we're doing here, because it's easier for me to think in terms of round numbers, <clears throat> that you're in a 50 inch market. Although the numbers all work. You're in a 50 inch market, that's your average. <clears throat> Cost to the customer for plowing only. No salt, just plowing. 100 grand. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. That equates out to you're charging the customer $2,000 an inch. You know how we figured that out? $100,000 divided by 50, 2,000 bucks an inch. If you're getting, if you're working off a 50% gross margin, not net, gross margin, that means your cost is $1,000 an inch to do the job. You with me? 50% gross margin, $1,000 cost, $1,000 profit, gross profit. Okay, we're good? <clears throat> so, if you exceed 50 inches, you should get more money. But probably not at 51 should give a little bit of leeway. So why don't we say we're gonna go up 10%. 10% over the average, you charge the customer more money. This is your cap. And that's 55 inches would be 10%. But how much do we charge over the 55 inch mark? If you charge them $2,000 an inch, you're at that point making profit on the overage. That might not be fair. You've made the profit for the company at the $100,000 mark. 50% gross profit. The company's made a $50,000 $50, gross profit on that particular customer's snow plan. That's fair. Do you need to make more money? Well, you'd like to make more money, but if you could lower your expenses, you might have increased your margin a little bit. However, <clears throat> I think it's more fair to charge the customer cost. We just, we, we just don't want to lose money because what happens when you get over to 55 inches for every inch that you're plowing, it's costing you $1,000. Everybody with me? So why don't we charge the customer $1,000 per inch over 55. That might, might not be fair either because <clears throat> you're going to have to explain it to the customer in some fashion. You really don't want the customers to know you're making a 50% gross margin because they don't understand. But actually there's some overhead that has to be covered here too. You're going to have a little bit of increased overhead. So rather than, than making it 1000 why don't we make it 1250 per inch. So if it snows 65 inches, 10 times 1250, $12,500 more is what you're going to charge a customer. Make sense? Okay. Customers are smart. What happens if we have a really light year? What's the money back? <laughs> they want money back. So why don't we why don't we offer it up? <clears throat> and let's say 20% below, or make it even 30% below. So below 35 inches, 30% <coughs> of 50 is 15. So below below 35 inches, we we'll give them money back. What are we giving back? Get back to 1250. Same amount you're going to charge them over. <coughs> so
So if it snows 20 inches, 15 times 12, 15. Anybody have a calculator? What's 15 times 12, 50? 18,750. 18,000? Even? 18,750. That's what you got to give back. Did we make any money? Yes. Do you know how? You charge them 100 grand up front. $100,000. Cost you fifty thousand dollars. Let's not do that. Don't do it that way. You're gonna you're gonna give them back eighteen seven fifty. You also have to deduct out of the hundred what it costs you to do business, and on a <clears throat> on a uh, thirty five inch storm on a thirty five inch year. What's it cost you? 35,000. So what's 100 minus 1750 and 35,000? 46,250. 46,250. That's the profit, gross profit, for the company. Quick question. Wouldn't that have been based on 20 inches? In that example? No, no, this is a 20 inch spread. Here's your spread. 20 inch spread. Yeah, but it cost us, if that's all you're producing. 35 inches of snow. Inches. You produce 35. Oh, you're based on 35. Okay. 35. Yeah. And a spread between 35 and 55 is 20 inches. Okay. Gotcha. That's what the rebate is. You make 46,250 to take care of 15% less or 30% less snow. The company does okay. The company does just fine. 46,000. And between you, me, and the fence post, how much of this 35 do actually want to plow? Now, in your case, last year down in New Jersey, you plowed all in one weekend. <clears throat> but you, generally speaking, what happens is you get a couple of one inchers, you get a couple of inch and a halves. They go towards the snow total, but you're not plowing them. Well, John, what are we going to do if we're going to salt? Okay, here's. here's from a sales perspective, yeah, yeah, we got to charge you for salt, but the salt comes to uh, $700 an app. And we'll, we'll just we'll just charge you for what we do. That's over the 55 inches when no, you charge them? 700 per app, per application for salt. This is just snow. Oh, that's just the plan. Okay. That's just snow. So we'll charge you seven, and I don't even know if 700 is the right number, you gotta figure that out. We'll just charge you, we'll charge per app for the salt. For the salt. For the business owner, where's the majority of the profit? If it built the salt app. And if you've got four or five one inch snowfalls, you're gonna burn them off. So you're gonna get paid for it here, because it goes towards the total. And if you've got five or six inches that come down an inch at a, at a crack, you don't have any expenses to plow it. It's costing you $1,000 an inch. Six inches of snow that comes down a little bit at a time, you don't spend that 6000 You actually get to charge the customer for doing it. From a sales perspective, you don't want the customer to think too much about this. So when it comes up, oh, I forgot about salt. Tell you what, we'll charge you $700 per app and, and we'll just charge it for what we do because quite frankly, we all know, you can't figure out how many, how many apps of salt's going down. You get an ice storm, we can put down four over the course of a weekend. You know, you get, you get a big snowfall, you get a huge snowfall, you get a 30 inch snowfall, we're not gonna, we're not gonna salt it five times. No, no point in it. So we'll just charge you for what we do there. When people, in our industry are thinking about pricing, what do they think about? What do they compare? They compare the snow numbers. And this is an afterthought, even though it's the vast majority of the expenditure, sometimes it's, it's much, much more, mm -hmm. because you salt twice as much as you plow, and in some cases it could be three times. 
I don't know anybody who hasn't presented this to a customer and got thrown out. It's different, it's new, it's profit certainty for, the, for your company, and it curbs the high side of what the customer will spend. You have as a salesperson to wrap, you have, you have to, to uh, get the customer to understand and realize that you're not in the business to lose money. All you want out of the overage is cost. And instead of negotiating, the customer says, well, you know, I, we, and it's just, God, geez, we should, what, let, we ought to negotiate something. <laughs> because that, that's what they teach us in property management school. Okay, what should we negotiate? Well, I think you want to negotiate this. Maybe you take the overage, maybe you take it to 56 inches. And this, if they say, well, why aren't you gonna give me money back starting at 50? We have costs. If it doesn't snow at all, I can't not charge you anything because I still got to pay for the lights, the mortgage, the insurance, the heat. Those costs don't go away. And I have to cover those. That's what good business people do. All right, now let's take it on. What In, in, in your market, I happen to know that the least amount of snowfall you ever got in a year was six inches, just about 6.5. And they didn't plow that year. In this scenario, if you get, say, a 10 inch year, it means you're going to give back 40. So you got 40 inches. So your give back is going to be 37,500. You didn't plow. Wait a minute. So you've got 37,500. You didn't plow it all that year. That's a very, very worst case scenario. So that's zero. So what's this total? 100 minus 3750? 625? 625? 625. You give the customer a check. For $37,500, they feel like a million bucks because you've rebated them a whole bunch of money and the company makes $62,000 plus the cost of salting. If it doesn't snow, you're still making a whole hell of a lot more money than you would have if it had snowed. And if you can do it where you charge the customer of, uh, over the course of, say, five months, that's $20,000 a month in free cash flow. Actually, it'd be less, right? Because I, 